Katie Ellman reporting for Katie Chats at the Canadian Society of Cinematographers Awards in downtown Toronto. I am here with Richard Krauss. How does it feel to be hosting the Cinematography Awards for the second year in a row now? Woohoo! I'm really excited to be back. You know, I, I was thinking about the speech that I would make. I was thinking about all the things that you could say to a room full of people that sort of shape the images that we see every day when you switch on your television or you go to the movies. And um, I've come up with something I think that is fairly unique. I thought about this a lot because I could have been jokey or I could have you know, uh, been really overly earnest, I think. But in this case, I think that um, I'm going to pay tribute to the people that have really shaped the way that as Canadians, we see one another and we see our country. And as someone who watches thousands of films, you watch bad movies so we don't have to. Uh, that's your tagline on Twitter. So uh, what do you look for in a film when it comes to cinematography? What really excites you? Uh, beautiful imagery. You know, I... I I don't have any hard and fast rules about what I expect when I go to see a movie. I try and go see everything uh, at zero. I have, I, with as low expectations or, or as no expectations, so that I can be excited. I can be blown away by what I see. And when I go to things uh, and, and see beautiful images, my favorite moments in films are always moments with no dialogue, moments that show me but don't tell me what's going on. And you can learn so much more about the characters and about the story just by the images. And that's what the art of film is all about. And you do so many things. You are all around the city uh, hosting many events. Where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and what you're up to? Uh, well, go to www.richardkraus.ca or go buy my new book about Elvis Costello. It just came out this week. It's called, yeah, it's called Elvis is King, Costello's My Aim is True. And it's about two years in the life of Elvis Costello, 1976 and 1977, when he made his first album, the, the album that changed my life. Well, thank you so much and congrats on the book. Thank you.